welcome to worshiptutorials.com. Hello. Bradford and I were talking today and we realized that we have never made a demo for our free AC30 Helix patch, which is by far the most down as you might expect, is the most downloaded patch on our I mean, on it's our free on worship tutorials. And it's at this point, as of the filming of this video, almost 13,000 people have downloaded this patch. For one patch. So this patch has been around since uh, early 2018, so well over two years at this point. And uh, it's been through several iterations along the way. Started out with all stock stuff, stock cabs. We'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, it was before the, the the HX reverbs came into play. Oh yeah, with firmware 2.5. So we're on version four of this patch today, and we're going to talk to you about the changes we've made uh, to it. But really, just to show you what it sounds like, and you should go download it. It's totally free. It comes with a premium impulse response. IR cab from Tone Junkie. Tone Junkie. Uh, that's one of the changes we've made. The IR that we're including with this now is from his current library uh, of IRs, and it is from his 1966 Vox AC30 Top Boost with Celestian Silver Bell speakers. Mm. Using Go a, Google those. We won't spend time on that. Yes. But go Google. They're kind of highly sought after in their own right. Yes. And uh, the IR that we're using is a dual mic IR, so he used two microphones to capture that cab, and it is a Shure 545, which is a okay. vintage uh, dynamic mic. It's like and a 57, right? Yeah, but it sounds yeah. better. <laughs> At least I think so. And a Royer 121 ribbon microphone, so those two together capturing this cab, it sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. You get that for free with the free patch. Yes. We just feel it. The IRs give a little something better. It kind of makes it a little sweeter, a little smoother. Not like smooth as in like the difference between like, it just, it just smooths it out in all the right ways. Let's go through the patch itself, what you get. So the patch is meant to be used either in stomp box mode or snapshot mode. So if you're on a Helix, you can go into the global settings in the foot switches menu, and you can tell your Helix if you have a Helix floor, you can use all 10 buttons as stomps. That's what we, we recommend. And we've mapped effects to all 10 buttons. If you have a Helix LT, you lose the left two buttons, at least in the current firmware. Who knows if they'll change that in the future. But you'll have to decide which two stomps you want to give up for those two slots. Uh, you can also use snapshots. And we've included eight snapshots in this patch. And then you can, if you prefer this, you can set up the Helix to give you stomps on the bottom, four stomps on the bottom row, four snaps on the top row. You have that option. However you want to do it. But I like running it either in stomp box or all stomps or all snaps. And then the mode button will toggle between stomps and snaps. So it's a really easy way to get around individual effects or uh, like you know, snapshots of multiple effects with one button press. So all the sounds and, uh, you know, mapping for the buttons is all set up for you. And we include lots of overdrive options in this patch. Lots, lots of flavor. Lots of delays, lots of reverbs. So if you start just at the, the signal chain goes like this. The deluxe compressor is the first thing. Then there are three drive blocks in uh, the patch. Two of them are mapped and one of them is not. So you've got the air apparent, which is the king of tone. You've got the 808, the Scream 808, which is a tube screamer. And the air apparent settings on this are set to mimic your king of tone yellow yes, side. Yes, the way I prefer to so run So sort it, of a least. lower gain mm -hmm. drive. We've also included the Minotaur, the Klon, and uh, it's not mapped, so you can turn that on and off and see if you like it. If you like it more than the king of tone or the 808, you can mm -hmm. just swap that out and put it on the foot switch if you want. Uh, we've included an amp gain switch. So we set a button to mm -hmm. change the parameters on the amp. Because so, the Helix can do that. Yes. It'd be like hiring a person to go to your amp and when you say, hey, when I stomp my foot, do this Turn to the knobs. knobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much what happens. And uh, so the amp gain switch will turn the gain up on the amp and give you like pure amp overdrive. Yeah. Which is great. It's a slightly different kind of texture too. So, mm -hmm. it, you know, you may find, you may not have done that before in the past because you don't think your amp was worth doing and mm. not like doing that with. But now you have a Helix. 
and you should explore these options. Let me tell you, the Vox AC30 gained up is a glorious sound. It's also and an iconic sound. What you might prefer to do is turn the amp gain up all the time and then use the volume knob on your guitar to get clean sounds. A little too rock and roll for that's me. That's what the pros do. That's, but, but that's what the pros <laughs> that's do. That's right. Exactly. After the gain blocks, after the drive blocks, you hit the volume block. It is set to expression two, logarithmic curve, which I like. We like that throw a little yeah. better than the linear curve. Uh, and then the amp, and then the IR cab, and then we hit the reverbs and delays on the second row. So and we hit those after, because mm -hmm. uh, putting them after the amp allows them to be really pristine and clear and crisp. I personally like that sound. Yes. I like stuff in the front of the amp, and so mm -hmm. some, we have some patches that we do that with. Mm -hmm. But when you have them afterwards, they don't get, sometimes they can get all gnarly and get all, your wet effects, your delay and reverb gets all gnarly, and that's mm -hmm. a cool sound, but there's something special, something so sweet about them being pristine and just being unaffected. Yeah. Now, I mean, if you're running a big drive sound through a reverb, that overdrive will be anyways. reverberated. Yes. Right. So it's not like the, the trails are just completely clean, but it's a totally different sound. Yeah, it feels and sounds different. Front. Mm -hmm. So we have actually four delays in this patch, but three of them are set to foot switches. A lot of delays. A lot of delay. And uh, you've got a quarter note tape delay set up, a dotted eighth note that we use the vintage digital uh, algorithm which sounds really cool mm -hmm. um that one can get pretty gnarly too the way you set it yeah, like can the repeats can, and stuff, yeah. can like degrade and stuff it's pretty neat and we've used the dual delay which is a stereo delay so the the repeats are going to be in stereo and it's eighth note and dotted eighth note which works really well for lead parts yeah. at least for the pw stuff that we play mm -hmm. the reason why we have three delays so the fourth delay is what we use within the swells as oh well. it's like the multi-tap yeah so it's it's it, crazy <laughs> yes you'll you'll know what we're talking about but we got a quarter note an eighth note delay dotted eighth note delay sorry and then a dual stereo delay so first off that dual is an eighth and dotted eighth so it's a mm -hmm. little quicker and so the difference between like quarter note and dotted eighth mm -hmm. and eighth note and dotted eighth those quarter notes are going to be spaced out farther mm -hmm. right but when you have the dotted eighth, it's it's really nice when you're doing maybe a slower picking part mm -hmm. because those repeats will come and hit quicker. Yeah. So we have that dual delay is set to be in parallel. So those of, of repeats aren't affecting one another. So yeah. it's it's a little more uniform when you hit a note. If you stack delays and they're in series, which means one comes after the other, they're which, gonna be affected. Which the quarter and dotted eighth are. The quarter and the dotted eighth are. So that is a they'll similar smear sound. Together. Yeah. And they'll smear together. So as, as time goes on, they get closer and closer together. So that does sound really cool. And you may mm -hmm. actually really like that. Kind of turns into a reverb. It can, eventually. and that's that's yeah. kind of how reverb's made up, really, mm -hmm. in a way. You know, once it gets going crazy. But you you have options. So you can do quarter note and dotted eighth delay for one sound and it's in, in parallel. And that's kind of, I'm which sorry, is, in series. Which is what we do for one of the snapshots. The ambient clean okay, snapshot right? is that. And that's more like what The Edge did. Mm -hmm. Like he, that's kind of, everybody kind of pokes at worship music for sounding just like The Edge. Which is funny. Because I really don't think I've heard a pretty prominent dotted eighth note delay part it's in a very, wild. very long it's, time. Yeah, in the in the early 2000s? Yeah, yes. yeah. like I haven't heard it in a very long time. Yeah. I used dotted eighth delay as my the primary 2010s, sound. the 2010s, I should say. Yeah. But what, what what year is it? <laughs> it's 2020, what Brad. What year is it? So after delays, you hit reverbs. And uh, we have two sort of reverbs that we put on foot switches. Well, actually four on foot switches. But two, you can turn them individually on and off. There's a plate reverb, which is sort of your normal-ish. Uh, it's still kind of a big reverb. But it's like the normal reverb. And then there is a glitz reverb that is like your big, huge, ambient, modulated, you know, Strymon, Eventide-ish. Yeah, uh, cloud-ish reverb um, that the sounds mist great. The mist that just floats it's behind the, your sound. It's the Holy Spirit, Brad. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, so, get those two reverbs, and then there are a series of three blocks that basically make up our swells, ambient swells sound. Uh, and you that can turn is, them all on with one button, too. Yeah, so you can access them from the, the, the stomps. So we have one stomp that turns all three of them on, or you can get to them from a snapshot as well. So you've got options. You got access to swells from either, from either way, and it's a multi-tap delay. Uh, so that's four delays going swirling together. It's pretty big. That alone could. <laughs> that could you, be your swell. Like we, our swells are very <laughs> thick and huge. Yeah, they're probably a little too big. So but, some people may not 
want to use that. I don't think there's such thing as too much reverb, personally. <laughs> uh, you might disagree. Many have. That's okay. <laughs> you can not turn them all on if you want to. Uh, so there's the multi-tap delay. There's another glitz reverb that's just bigger, more. And then there's an octo. And the octo is really subtle. Really, the octo will subtle. be a shimmer, yes. right? Uh, so And it's the legacy octo. Uh, the plateau also does octo, but... I like the plateau and the legacy octo are different. They do yeah, different things. Yeah, they, they, they react a little bit differently. And it's probably one of those things where you may not have noticed had you not yeah, heard us say it to you. Because it's, it's so yeah. subtle, but it does add a nice little texture. It's something else because we got all those verbs going. Mm -hmm. It just kind of sounds like this hollow thing. And that can yeah. be good, but the, adding that little bit of octo just gives a little bit of a little shine. It's like putting sheen. rainbow sprinkles on your ice cream. Hmm. Yes. So after all of the wet effects, almost at the very end of the chain, is a stereo EQ block. All these delays and reverbs, not all of them, but they, they, they run in stereo. So once you hit that dual delay, you get that huge stereo image, and then all the reverbs retain that. And the EQ block as well. And the EQ block is something we've been doing for quite a while now in patches, and it's just another way to shape the tone of, uh, of your patch. It's kind of like... You could think of it as like what you would, what a studio engineer would mm -hmm. do to a guitar track in yeah. a mix. Because it would also, it's going to EQ the the verbs and the delays as mm -hmm. well. So it kind of keeps things a little more uniform when you're adding yeah. layers too. Sounds really right. good. Right, right. And it'll just help you uh, sit in a mix better. We use the Cali Q graphic, which is the EQ section from a Mesa Boogie Mark IV amp? Mark V? I can't remember. One of those two. It's the one that you always see them in, in a V where they've dipped all the mids out, which is not what we do. No, that's not what we <laughs> but do. But that's, that's the EQ. It's just a really great musical sounding EQ, and the frequencies are preset, but they are frequencies that work really well for uh, cutting and boosting uh, for electric guitar. That's why Mesa Boogie put them in an electric guitar amplifier. They know what they're doing what? over there. That boogie, yes. And then at the very end of the chain, there's a looper that you can use. The looper, uh, it's the six-button looper uh, on the Helix. Great for practicing. Also just, stereo. Uh, playing some stuff, right, in, in, by yourself. Playing along with yourself on the guitar. So that is our free AC30 patch. It is full of awesome-sounding stuff. Yes. And uh, really from the get-go, what Brad and I wanted to do is we have all kinds of premium patches that you can buy. Song patches. Patches based on all kinds of different amps or combinations of amps and stereo. All of that is available below. But we wanted to have a patch that you can get for free just to see what it is that you get with Worship Tutorials patches. And it's... We, we didn't want to we, hold back. We didn't hold back. Like, this would be... There is no difference in how we prepared this patch. Mm -hmm. Like, the, in the, the practice, the principle yeah. of how we approach this patch is how we approach all our other patches. This isn't like the Slim Fast version. <laughs> like we, yeah. didn't, we didn't be like now you're gonna want to buy more we wanted you to know because we have plenty of people who if they're somebody may throw a question in some forums and be like mm -hmm. hey i'm looking for a patch from uh any company or i need some help or whatever mm -hmm. and they'll see people who set, suggest the ac30 mm -hmm. and their next line is that's pretty much all i use anyways yeah and so we realize yeah we've had people say that they own a lot of worse tutorials patches and, and the free ac30 is one. like their go-to and we realized we probably could sell this for the same price as everything else. But our whole goal here is to just let people know that we, first off, the whole channel exists to help people yeah. have excellent and authentic worship. Mm -hmm. And so if this is all you need and we helped you do that, we are so very when? glad to do that. Yeah. We have other stuff too if you'd like to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, another thing you can do with this patch is when you first get a Helix, it is so, conf like there's so much confusion. Yeah about how to do things, how to set things up. Even as a guy running. who knows pedals really, really well, yeah. and I, I I, do not get scared. Like I'll buy a new pedal, mm -hmm. and I do not get scared diving into the menus, and like I love it. The Helix still overwhelmed me when I first got it. So we get it. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's like hundreds of effects. There's and, so and many possibilities. All in one thing. You yeah. put together however you want. Yes. And so if you want to just, you know, get something, there's a lot of presets that you get with the Helix. Uh, it's kind of, they're kind of notoriously not great sounding and they're <laughs> really not really and they're not towards geared towards crazy anyways. worship yeah. anyway so you know you can download this even if you don't you know use the sounds necessarily you can you know kind of see how we laid the signal out how we set up different effects some of these delays are like in parallel some are in series uh so you can see how that all works and uh 
Yeah, it can kind of help get you jump started with the Helix if you're just getting into it. So hey, thanks for checking out the free AC30 patch. Again, link below, go get it. It's free, what do you have to lose? Nothing. That's uh, why we haven't made a video before, but. <laughs> yeah, cause we're just like, maybe you're thinking. Why does somebody need to hear this before downloading? It's free, but. It's, you know, maybe you're thinking, I already have this, why do I have a video? But <laughs> maybe you're here for another reason and you haven't heard of us yet. So this is more of a, this is, Really, this is like not, it's not just a patch video. It's also a, hey, we're worship tutorials and this is how we do worship stuff. Tutorials, Helix stuffs. Helixstuffs.com. <laughs> yes. That's mine, dibs, I call it. Hey, we've got, I've done this again. We're at the very end of this long video and I'm finally saying subscribe to the channel <laughs> if you haven't already. So please do that. Again, thanks for watching. We'll w see you in the next one. www.helixstuffs.com. <laughs> we'll see you in the next website, time. I call it. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.